Alex Decker here, CEO and founder of AltiSelf, and I want to congratulate you for getting this app. We are going to build your best self one habit at a time, one action at a time, and then we're going to help you reach your true potential and build the life that you truly deserve. Let me show you how to do it with the app, and let me show you how to set it up properly, how to access your optimal routine, how to put everything together so that you can easily use this with five to ten minutes a day and build what you need to do with this app. Now, the most important thing that this app is going to do for you is it's going to cultivate your most important relationship. Not a dating relationship, not a marriage relationship, not a kid relationship, but your most important relationship, the one with yourself. That is the key. You want to treat yourself right. You want to count on yourself to do the things that you say you're going to do. And most people don't. It sounds simple, but most people don't. If you do that consistently over and over and over again, make promises to yourself and keep them, what the world is going to change for you. Things are going to open up that you wouldn't believe because you're going to be, feel more confident, you're going to feel more in control, and you're actually going to be able to accomplish things. You're going to be able to complete tasks and get results. And that is the biggest key because you can have all the biohacking info in the world, all the self-improvement info in the world, all this and all these goals, but if you do nothing about it, and then beat yourself up for doing nothing about it, you're going to get nothing. So very, very important to understand that. With that being said, let's get into it and let's show you how to do all this. Now, when you purchase this app, you filled the questionnaire, you filled out a questionnaire, you answered some questions, and we took the answers to those questions and we correlated them with our database. And we suggested habits that work best for you based on the habits that work best for people that match your profile. This is your optimal routine inside the app. And you're probably dying to find out how to get it. So I'm going to show you how to access it right inside the app. You basically tap on the routines tab right here. And boom, right here at the top, your AI-based optimal routine. This is what all the excitement is about. Now, this is a very good guess made by our AI that we created with our PhD-level scientists. But it's a guess. So you don't have to add the entire routine if you don't want to. You can look through it and add habits that make sense to you. For example, let's just look at the morning habits here. Let's say um, consume healthy fats. Let's say healthy fats bother my stomach in the morning. I can't do them in the morning for whatever reason, right? So I won't add it, but I do want to stretch in the morning. I want to do gratitude in the morning, and I do want to exercise in the morning and get outside because I'll walk to the gym, and I don't want to snooze. That's a big one. That's one I actually do need some help with, so say I don't want to snooze. I'm going to add just those, and then what do you do with those? You added them. You're not, you haven't tracked them yet. You added them to the tracker. This screen in the middle, the habit tracker, this is the most important screen of the app. This is going to help you build that relationship with yourself. This is going to keep you accountable. And this is going to be your center place for everything right here. Now, the simple thing with this, with this tool, with this, um, with this tracker, it works very simply. It has a weekly view. So you don't want to take a view of having to do every single habit every single day. Think about exercise, for example. You don't want to exercise every day. If you do exercise every day, you're going to overtrain. You're going to basically hurt yourself. So you want to exercise four or five times a week. Now, as you can look in the exercise habit right here, there's a four, uh, four frequency. So basically, that weekly frequency is four. Once you hit exercise four times a week, that habit is considered completed for the week. Because if for whatever something happens one day and you miss the gym, don't beat yourself up. Remember, cultivate, love yourself. Keep that relationship with yourself very good. So you want to just hit, I didn't do it today, it's okay. I will do it tomorrow. But make sure you hit that weekly frequency. And this app is going to keep you accountable to it. Now, let me show you something cool. Let's say I want to exercise or something pretty easy to do, but let's say gratitude. Let's say I want to remember every morning to do gratitude. I open up settings, and I basically say I want to do this four times a week, not five, but I want to set a reminder. And I want to, every morning when I wake up to boost my confidence, I want to say some things that I'm grateful for in my life, right? I basically set that reminder for 10 a.m., and I want it to come through a push, but I'm always texting. So I want it actually to come through a text, so my text message is going to remind me to do this habit. Boom, I just hit text. How cool is this? And now this is going to remind me to do this habit every single day. So that is the how to add habits from your optimal routine to your tracker. But what if that's not enough? What if you want to, let's stay on this routine screen. What if you want to add us some habits for a specific area or a routine for a specific area? Let's say you've been, you've, um, 
you need to be more creative. You're kind of hitting a roadblock and you need to improve your creativity. Well, guess what? We have a creativity routine among many, 20 other routines inside the app. So you can open it up and just like taking habits from your optimal routine, you can add habits from the creativity routine. So let's say we're going to take reading, for example, and we're going to add this to the tracker. I just click add to tracker and guess what? It's on here. You click on the little settings tab. Let's say I want to read four times and I want to read in the evenings and I want to give myself a reminder to read at 6 p.m. I do it just like that. Not 6 a.m. because I'll be sleeping, but 6 p.m. Um, and that's it. You basically set that reminder and it's done. And I want it to come as a text as well as a push. Save it. Done. How cool is that? Now, there's another way to add habits and that's in this habit library screen, the add habits step. This is the bottom left hand corner. So you basically go here and what you do is you open up the filter. It says, what do you want to improve? So let's say I want to improve my confidence and let's say I want to improve my motivation. The big thing, don't select all the areas you want to improve. Otherwise, it's going to filter out too many habits. Select two, maybe three at the most. And you could do this multiple iterations. So if you want to do confidence and motivations, do it once. And if you want to do digestion and immunity, do it next time. And that'll give you habit ideas. Click filter. And once you're in here, um, let's say set daily intention. Now, all you do to add this habit to the tracker is click the little track icon and it's going to give you a pop-up. Hey, when do you want a reminder for this? So let's say I want to set my daily intentions in the evening for the next day. So I want to do this for 11, 11 04 p.m. Every day I want, to, I want to get a reminder so I can do it. I set that reminder. Boom. It's done. It's on the thing. Set daily intentions. Let's say I just did it. I check it off just like that. Now, a few other things to consider. So let's say you, you actually you did gratitude. I'm grateful for my business. I checked that off as well. So now these habits are done. So um, you, in this dashboard, you can see your basically your habit completion percentage, how many ticks per week, what percentage of them have you clicked based, based on the weekly frequency that you set, how many active habits you get, and here's another big one. Average daily rating. Now, every day after 8, you're going to receive a pop-up from the app. How was your day? This is very, very important that you basically um, go to this because this gives our AI information to create the habit effectiveness rating for each habit. Um, and then the habits that have a low effectiveness rating, you can replace. And the habits that have a high effectiveness rating, obviously, you're going to keep. So with this habit effectiveness rating, what you're going to do is you're going to basically say, how was your day today? So let's say it was a four. It was good. It wasn't great. And then you can even go in depth. You can rate your productivity. You can rate your, um, I think mine was, oh, yeah, let's say it was a five, right? My mood was a four. And let's say my health was also a four, right? Like my energy. You know, when I say health, energy, um, kind of digestion, things like that, right? So you, you basically fill this in all the time. And then when you go back into the dashboard, you can get all this cool information, like how effectiveness for each habit is going to actually recommend habits for you based on your app usage. This is all our AI. It's going to give you your most effective day for the week, your least effective day for the week, et cetera, et cetera. So this is all very, very important for you to consider when using this app. And this is the, this is the dashboard. That's basically it. If you guys have any questions at all, um, let us know. Email info at altiself.com. Our support team is great. I'll sometimes personally step in and answer. Hopefully you join our Facebook group because in there we, we talk about a lot of these. I give advice. If you want to post your tracker to the Facebook group, I'll help you optimize it. Also, something else you want to consider. If you haven't done so, we have some awesome upgrades that actually in the iPhone app, you can actually access them right inside the app. We have a web portal for the Android guys and, and you iPhone users can also access them in the web portal. And they're awesome. They go hand in hand with the app, one to improve your productivity, your mindset, and your actual self upgrade system in terms of setting goals. So check that out. Big thing stick with your head, force yourself for two weeks, really push yourself to use the app, and you're going to see some great results. You're going to say it's impossible to live without it. Hope to your guys' success. See you.